dolphins from the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program are trained to detect underwater mines. Recently, those skills led to a discovery in an unexpected field, marine archaeology. So during a routine training evolution in one of the practice fields off the Hotel Del Coronado, the dolphins reported the presence of an object that wasn't in an area that we had anticipated. Once the dolphins had marked the position of the object, as a matter of our routine training, the diver had gone down and investigated. The object was recovered. Shortly thereafter, it was discovered that this is, in fact, a very unique piece of naval archaeology. This discovery was a late 19th century steam-powered hull torpedo, which arrived at Andrews Air Force Base May 29th for transfer to the Naval History and Heritage Command's Underwater Archaeology Laboratory for conservation. Um, this artifact is what we refer to as a composite artifact, which means it's made up of several different components, several different materials. In this case, we have copper alloy, um, we have uh, iron alloy, steel, we have potentially rubber gaskets. So a mix of both inorganic and organic materials um, that all have, uh, have different methods of, of degrading, of corroding, um, and also different needs subsequently um, for conservation treatment. So we have to keep all of those differences in mind when we're developing a treatment plan and um, take into account all those different, um, all those different components. Uh, this has the potential to really give us uh, an insight into how this really early phase of torpedo development uh, took place. And in general, uh, through underwater archaeology, we're able to, to reach the, the average sailor. We're able to reach the life uh, on board at sea uh, to capture those moments that you really don't see in the historical documents that focus on important events, important people, important battles. For All Hands Update, I'm Petty Officer Joshua Shepard.